Everybody, I'm Eddie Snyder. This is Eli Ash, and the NBA 2024 draft day one is just upon us, where 30 young stars will come into the league. There are plenty of high prospects, but Eli, who do you think might go in the top five? Well, you got um, Alex Sarr and Zakari Rizache seem to be the top two on most people's big boards. It sounds like there's some rumors that Sar doesn't want to play for the Hawks, so that would make you lean that um, they could take Rizache. There's also a little bit of talk about Klingon, so Donovan Klingon out of UConn, big center, very good. So I'd probably say the odds right now would be Rizache, uh, um, Klingon, and then Sar for who goes number one overall. After that, you got Ron Holland, Matis Buzelis, Reed Shepard, Rob Dillingham, all names that could potentially go in the top five, so we'll see where that shakes up. You've also got Stefan Castle. I'm also going to go with Alex Sar and Zachary Rizache with you. The two Frenchmen, they're at the top of the board. Um, last year, Victor Wembanyama, he went over hall number one. He was also from France. For the other three, though, I'm going to go with um, Matas Buzelis. Stefan Castle and Ron Holland. Bazellus and Holland, two of the best G League Ignites we've seen in decades. And Stefan Castle was a freshman who won the title with UConn earlier this year in March. But um, Zach Eady, I also want to bring up him. He won two straight wooden finalists awards. But some people don't think he'll do in the NBA. Can you tell me a little bit why about that and where he might go? Yeah, well, most um, big boards are saying he will probably go out of the lottery. You never know. There could be a shocker. For example, Memphis really needs a center, but I I doubt they'd take them. He, they'd probably be more likely to trade up for Klingon if they did get a center. But, um, yeah, for Edie, it's more about he's slower than most guys, not as athletic as most guys, has no stretch ability. And at this point in the NBA, if you can't stretch the floor, unless you're like, I don't know, there's it's pretty much no way you're going to be able to – play um, really high level. There's some exceptions like Rudy Gobert, but there's no signs of his three-pointer ever developing. He's not the defensive level of Rudy Gobert. And, you know, he's kind of like Shaq archetype, just doesn't fit as well in today's game. That's when we the good starts about him. And before we conclude today, the biggest sleeper I want to mention is um, – Baylor Shireman. Not a lot of people think he'll go in the first round, but he's had a really good year with Creighton so far. Been one of the best three-point shooters in college basketball. Um, where do you think he might land? Um, there's. I do think there's a good chance he goes late first round. I think that there's a lot of teams who are on the win now. He's got limited potential, and I think as soon as he goes to the NBA, he'll almost have hit his ceiling. He just does, He's not a guy with super high potential being like 23 years old. But for a lot of the win now teams, they want a guy who can contribute right away. you got the Mavericks, Celtics, um, Sixers, although Sixers would probably have to trade down. They wouldn't take him at 16. But a lot of teams like that who need some shooting, he'll be able to provide solid – uh, stuff. I'd be surprised if he didn't go in the first round. And then for my biggest sleeper in the draft, that's definitely a tough one. But I think I'm going to end up going actually with uh, Jared McCain. He's got, he was amazing at the end of his season at Duke. He's an, uh, he's an amazing shooter. He can rebound well. He's undersized. His defense is fine. But I think his offensive game and rebounding will take him a long way in this league. And I think he's a sleeper. And I'd be surprised if he didn't go in the lottery because I definitely think he deserves to be in the lottery. Because for win now teams, there are some good guys you can count on, like what we just said. So thank you for tuning in to this pre-draft report. Bye.